I'm gonna bring a different energy to this fight that I have, that people haven't seen from me in a long time. There's certain things I, I, I will definitely edit, and I want to bring a different energy to this fight. It's gonna be reminiscent of something some of the greats have done in the past. No, I want to put on a bit of a show. Yeah. I feel like people. I like it when people start to doubt me. I, I just it just it rubs off on me like that 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 chip on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I like having that. So yeah, I feel that way at the moment. I feel a way. I'm very petty, so yeah, I really want to make an example. I'm not really going to assume anything. Like I said before, I want to make it easy. Easy out of science. That's what I want. Nobody beats the stop in the easy, especially when you're fighting the way that he fights. Izzy is one of those guys that is tremendously talented. He's next level striker. He is in phenomenal shape. Dude is an absolute star at this point. He's one of the biggest stars the UFC has today and one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen. With all that being said, I think Israel at Asanya is a nightmare matchup for every single one of us. Why? Because of that pressure. Because that pressure leads to you falling into traps that Edesanya set so beautifully. But let's not look past Jared Cannonier. Dude is on a roll. And again, great team at fight ready. And they're going to have him ready to go to try to solve the puzzle that is Israel Edesanya. He's a, he's the dark horse of the division. He's the guy that everyone sleeps on. Yeah. Anyone can be anyone on, on any night. Yeah. That's one thing you can never take for granted in this game, in the fight game. He's good. He's good. But mm. unfortunately, not good enough. He fought a guy, Brunson, who I already beat at MSG. And I said to him at the weigh-ins, I was like, man, just take care of this guy so I can get some fresh meat. Because I've already like beat Brunson. I've beat Vittori. I've beat um, Robert. All these guys. So I don't mm. want. I don't want to lap the. I'm, I'm lapping the division yeah, again. Facts, but yeah. I want some fresh, some fresh blood. Yeah. Some people I haven't fought yet. But um, yeah, his last fight he knocked out Brunson, and I'm a man of my word. I was like, you beat him, and you got the next shot. So yeah, we'll try and take care of him. Just fighting, bro. All I want to do is just fight and mm -hmm. take away all the top guys in my division mm -hmm. right now. So when it's all said and done, they can be like, look, he never shied away from anyone. Yeah. And you can never say I, anyone. You can ask. I never turned down any fight. Any fighter, anyone that's that wanted it, they, they can get it. Dude, it's gonna be a. Izzy's one of the hardest puzzles right now to solve. I guess not taking him down and holding him is the only answer we've seen from a guy that was a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Jared's not a wrestler in a sense. He's not, that's not his, you know, that's not his goal. Maybe it will be. I don't fucking know. Go in there, to take him down, hold him down, which. You're gonna have to be a very high level wrestler to do that against Izzy. So, you know, being able to outstrike it, Izzy and land the shots that need to be done, it's gonna be fucking hard. But if anyone can do it, it's Jared. Dude's mentally strong as fuck. Just an all around athlete. Oh, he's gonna put the work in that needs to be done. I like Izzy and Jared. Mm -hmm. um, but it's gonna that, that's gonna be a sweet fight. I'm glad I'm opening that card so I can watch it. Well, I personally believe everybody has holes in their game. That's not to say that uh, anybody is bad at anything in particular, but uh, when you throw a jab, you expose yourself for the counter. You know, uh, you're close enough to get hit. So that's just the nature of the beast. You know, one plus one is two. When we're in there fighting, he can get hit, he can hit me, I can knock him out, he can knock me out. Um, <clears throat> So yes, I do believe that there are opportunities to beat him. I'm not gonna call them holes in someone's game because Izzy is pretty sharp as far as the striking goes and he's shown he's been able to fend off wrestlers, uh, even throw up uh, throw up some submissions and, and fights and, and everything. So um, um, holes, I don't wanna call them, but opportunities for me to win, capitalize on, absolutely. Jerry Cannonier is exciting. Mm -hmm. Because Jared Cannonier has also been in there with Anderson. Yep. If you remember when he fought Anderson, his approach was a little different than what we're used to seeing. Mm -hmm. He didn't overextend, he took his time, and he's so powerful that he landed those outside kicks that ultimately blew out Anderson's knee. Yeah. But that's Jared being so physically strong and so physically gifted. Can he do the same thing in front of Adesanya? Right. Can he take his time? Can he not overextend himself? Can he make sure that he's only taking the opportunities that are presented to him? Because again, if he goes out there over aggressive, he's going to get pieced up mm -hmm. by Israel Adesanya. Dude, I'm telling you, his ability to see things and to punch and find spots are so much better than anyone I've seen in the octagon. Do you have to be willing, again, to just sit in front of him and not mm -hmm. get out of position? 
because he's gonna embarrass you, bro. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm confident in my skills. I'm confident in my ability to go in there and do to him what I've done to any and everybody who steps in front of me, you know? Um, the fight is, the fight, the fight will go how the fight goes. I'm doing my best to make it go in my favor. He's doing his best to make it go in his favor. And in turn, I'm doing my best to turn all that around. Everything he does, is, I, I, want, I want it to be null and void. I want him to feel hopeless. Like all my techniques are not working. My techniques are exposing me. I can't do anything, coach. What, what should I do? You know, it's going to be, that's what I want. The commentary, I want everybody seeing like, oh, seeing that, oh, what's going on here? And of course they're gonna be, uh, uh, um, their attention is gonna be on him, you know, but eventually people will start seeing what I'm doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying, how I'm doing it. The key is being consistent. The key is being precise, you know? The key is uh, being calculated and breaking him down and doing what I do, which is doing damage and ending the fight as fast as possible with taking as least damage as possible, making it as easy as possible. I want a flawless victory and a fatality. I will if I have to, I and mean, if he gives me a limb and that's the means of finishing, I'm, I'm gonna take it. So that's what we train to do. He's gonna do the exact same thing. We've seen people try to out-wrestle him on many occasions. I mean, Yoel Romero is a sensational wrestler. Robert is a talented wrestler, you know what I mean? But that approach, and I'm not saying, well, Jan Blachowicz took him down and, and that was a big factor in winning that fight. But it seems that, that going in with the wrestling-heavy approach isn't the way to beat him. And I think, you know, he's not Superman. He's not Superman. You've got to stand there toe to toe. You've got to pressure. You've got to take away his length, take away his reactions. You've got to use a lot of head movement. And you've got to be ballsy enough to stand there and fucking fight the guy on the feet. I think Jared's definitely got a chance. He's he's an absolute killer. And you can see in the fights that he's been in that he's, a, he's the type of guy that'll go out on his shield. Mm. That's a dangerous that's a dangerous guy, right? But um, if you have to look at it stylistically, on paper, Adesanya is just fast and rangy and you'll be able to keep him on the end of his jab. And like, that's what I did to, to Jared. I, I stayed away, played on the outside and, 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 and fought like that. And you can see, and that's that's Adesanya's fight game. He's, he stays on the outside and like backs up, backs up, leads you, lets you walk on the things and things like that. So it's hard to say, like, I would have to say like Adesanya would definitely be the favorite just because of how much I think like he's got a he got he's got a bit of a speed advantage and, and reach and range. But I think Jared can definitely like turn it into a dog fight and like make it rough and, and rugged and, and get in there and you know, make him uncomfortable. Hang on tight and uh trust that it will be a competitive match. I will bring it to this man. I will do to him the same thing I plan on doing to anybody in the octagon. And we will see what he what he has planned for it. Um, I'm always looking for better ways to implement my game plan and get the win. So um, don't expect to see the same thing you saw last time. Expect to see something way better. Jared, to be honest, not not as threatening. He's the dark horse of the division, so he's very he's 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 a threat, but not as threatening as people think. Not as threatening as people think. If I give it on my scorecards. Mm, Four or five, out of respect, I'll give him a five. Threat meter, like a guy that makes me just concerned. There's nothing he does that makes me like, ooh, I gotta watch out for that. But, you know, it's new blood, he's motivated. This is his his time, you know, his moment, if you will. So that gets me up in the morning and I remember then, that's what makes me like, right, I'm gonna shut these motherfuckers up again. You know, um, I'm ready for whatever, you know. Uh, I know he's gonna bring his A++ game um, and the world hasn't seen my, haven't even, hasn't even seen my A plus game, to be honest. So um, that's what I plan on bringing, that plus more and whatever's needed to get the job done.